Hi, this is Paul Gallimore and welcome to part two of my videos on putting headers and footers into novels or other long documents. If you watched part one, uh, I explained that in order to get good control over the various sections of your book, um, uh, in order to make the headers and footers different, uh, between chapters or between chapters and the front matter area of the book you need to break the book up into sections using the section break uh, facility that's built into to word and I explained how to do that in the first video so now I've got my novel here broken up into sections each chapter and the front matter area are separate sections of the book so they they, they get treated differently so we're looking at at the very first page in the front matter area that's to say this is before chapter one and if I double click at the top of the page you can see the area here that's reserved for the uh, the header at the top of the page and the area that's reserved for the footer at the bottom of the page and <clears throat> to properly put headers and footers into your document you need to begin by paying attention to these tabs that appear at the top and bottom of the page. At the moment all they're telling me is that I am looking at the header for section 1 at the top and the footer for section 2 at the bottom. But if I go down to chapter 1 I see a couple of extra tabs because I'm now in the second section of the book and those tabs say at, in, at the, uh, in the header area and, and then separately in the footer area, same as previous. So what that is asking me is do you want the header information for this section to be the same as it was in the previous section? And ditto the tab in, in the footer. Do you want the information in the footer to be the same as it was in the pre previous section? Well, the answer for me is no in both cases because in my front matter area in section one, I don't want anything in the header or in the footer. So I'm going to begin by getting rid of those. So if I click up, up here in the header area and you see, by the way, let me just double click in the main body of the text again. And that takes me, uh, that, that loses my header and footer areas you can see uh, if you look up in the ribbon there at the top you see I'm um, just in the in the home tab as soon as I click at the top of the page in the in the footer area in the in the header area it takes me to the design tab and you can see this button here that says link to previous so bearing in mind my tab that says same as previous if I'm clicked in the header area and I click on that link to previous button once it, it loses that same as previous link. Now that same applies to the bottom, but they to the footer, but they are treated uh, separately and individually. So I need to, if I want to break my link for the footer to the previous section, I need to do the same thing for the footer. So I click on the link to previous button, and there we are. I'm no longer linked to this area up above to, to section one. So I can now think about putting page numbers in. So my cursor is down there at the bottom in the footer area and to put page numbers in look up in the ribbon here on the left hand side you see a, a button there marked page number. I click on that. If I come down to bottom of the page because that's where I want it to be I get these options, these style options and some are fairly fancy I think. There we are. But for a thing like a novel, you just want something very basic. I want a plain number and I want I want it uh, centered. So I'm going to click on that. And there's my number. It's it's off to the right a bit because my book has been uh, the margins have been set it up, set up for a printed novel. And in a printed novel, you need a white a wide gap on one side of the page <coughs> because that will be lost in the binding of the book. I don't like the way that number is up high against the text. So if I hit the enter key, oh, I didn't want to do that. What do I want to do? So if I come below the number and hit the backspace, it brings it down a little bit. And do I get the option to do that again? No, that, that's as low as I can get it in, in the size of footer that, 
that has been set up. So there's my number one, and I should find that if I uh, look up to the section above, there's nothing in there. Now if I go down, I find that I've got a number two on page two, which is obviously what I want. Same throughout this chapter. But what do I find in the next section here? It says same as previous here in the footer of chapter 2, which is section 3. It says same as previous, but look, it's starting my numbering from 1 again. Now, when you, <laughs> when you see these videos that are done by the Microsoft trainers, this just works. You go straight on to the, uh, the following number in the sequence, and everything's good but this actually caused me to waste a lot of time because I couldn't work out why or th why given the fact that I had same same as previous selected that my numbering wasn't running on as it should now like I say it may well work for you the first time you try it it, it didn't for me what's happening for me is if I look at any chapter here if I go to view document map and pick say chapter 12 Look, that starts with page one again. That's not what I want, clearly. So let's go back to chapter two and try and sort it out. What I've actually got to do is click in the footer for uh, for the first page of chapter two, come up into my ribbon here um, with, with the uh, design tab selected, and on the left hand side it says page number I go in click on that go in there format page numbers and then look in here I've got this option continue fr uh, from the previous section now you would think that would work automatically anyway with save as previous uh, tab selected but evidently not so continue from previous say OK and then I'm, I'm good now I'm, I'm on page 9 so I for my document for, for, for the way Word is working for me, I have to do that for every chapter. So if I go view, document map, let's see what's happening in chapter 3. Back to page 1 there. So again, I've got to click in the footer. Make sure I'm in the design tab at the top of the page. Go to page number, format page numbers. Click on continue from previous section and now I'm on page 13 so you've got to do that if it doesn't work right away which as I say when they show you the videos when you watch the Microsoft videos that always works automatically anyway but if for you it's not working you need to do what I've just done for for each chapter so I hope that will have saved you a lot of time Okay, so I, I've gone through the whole book now uh, to every chapter and made sure that the page numbers run through sequentially uh, and so I'm good from front to back. So if I come to uh, the view tab here, document map and look at say, I don't know, the last chapter, chapter 19, you can say, you, you can see there that I've got uh, page 301, everything's as it should be. Um, last couple of things to point out after the final chapter we go in my case we go into uh, the acknowledgement and that uh, has got a page I haven't made that uh, run sequentially because I don't want any page numbers in there so what I've got to do is the same thing as previously and get rid of this same as previous button so from the design tab I unlink to the previous section uh, and you can see now in the footer at the bottom of the acknowledgement section it doesn't say same as previous anymore in the footer so I can just delete that number by uh, you know using the delete key and you see it's gone from this last section of the book but if I go back up to the previous chapter I've, I've got my final number in there which is what I wanted uh, is there anything else I need to mention? Last thing I'll mention on numbering is that these header and footer areas are like any other text areas of uh, of, a, of a file of a document. You can highlight them, come up into the home tab, and have the same control over you know font size or whatever as you would elsewhere in the book.
so you, you're not stuck with default settings you can uh, you know have take take control over that just as you would anywhere else so um, I'm not sure what's going on there at the moment but uh, anyway that's it for this video we've only covered the the footers because you only get 15 minutes on a YouTube video without special permission to do otherwise so uh, and the the header uh, information the uh, building uh, headers into your document is a lot more complicated than the foot well not a lot more but a little bit more complicated than the footers so that will take a, probably a good 15 minutes to explain that so I'll do that in one final video I hope this has been useful I hope I'm saving you time by uh, you know, preventing you from having to go through the same learning curve as I did. If it has been useful to you, please click on the link button and that way other people will find the video. Thanks and I'll see you in the third and final video shortly.